my gosh. It's going to be a good one today, folks. <laughs> Welcome, yeah. friends and family, to the new hump day, as they say here. <laughs> Thursday is the new hump day. Thank you. That's to right. Inside Steve. Exhale. Yes. How are you doing today, my uh, friend? Doing good. Speaking of uh, tech support, how are things going with your phone and sharing videos? <laughs> oh, my Over gosh. there in the droid I'm, I'm corner. I'm in the process right now of sharing it. Look at this. Look at me sharing. Bam, bam. Okay, all you folks, while I'm sharing, please, you share as well. We're going to be giving away something free today for those of you that have shared the stream. And uh, we have several people here from CAX Oh, my gosh, Steve. We have... Richard Adler here live. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you know our special, Ryan? He's our performer spotlight tonight. He is, but do you know that he is missing dinner? What? In order to be with us tonight. That's he a said, good. I will wait on my dinner so that I can be there with you. And this is a big, big deal. Richard Adler, thank you so much, my friend. Mr. A. It's a good Mr. man. A, Mr. Right a. Right there. Yeah. Um, well, hey, just a reminder, the Dinky T-Rex, mm -hmm. we uh, introduced it last week in our CAX edition, and uh, yep. it's now available right there. You can order it at thedinkies.com. Oh, my gosh. He's so cute. Yeah, I love show him a little bit later, but look at how cute he is. Yeah, cute. cute. Really we got some uh, new stuff to cute. demo with him. Cute, so, cute, cute. Uh, hey, as you're joining us, Go ahead, as Steve mentioned, take a moment and uh, share this video. Yeah. Share it to um, your favorite Steve, group. Did you share it to Axel Entertainers yet? Awesome. Share it to your favorite page. Share it to your own website, of course, or yep. your own uh, Facebook uh, page so that people would be able to. <sighs> All right. Darcy's sharing it. I can see that. Thank you, Darcy. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah. This. Oh, man. Super Look fun. at these guests we have today. Steve. Yeah. Deegan Hudson Deegan is joining right. us. Deegan from South, South Carolina. Carolina. We have a huge oh project gosh. going with Deegan, huh? Can't talk about it. No. All I can say is Deegan's uh, amazing. I, I'm saying it's huge. It's yeah. huge. It's it huge. Do, it has to do with her incredible talent. Yeah. So keep your eyes out for more uh, coming from mm -hmm. South Carolina. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see who else we got uh, here in the chat. Oh, my gosh, guys. Aaron Sherman's here. What? Yep. Bonnie Hold on, Halford is here. I'm going to try this thing again. Kelly Blount. Where I read the names and my okay. voice has to go higher and higher. Skippy Specter is here. Um, Douglas McElroy. Come on. T-Boards. No one around my Sandy condo is Netburn. Tony Borders. What's up, Tony? All right, Steve, I'm going to try this. Let me go back to the top. All right. Hey, and a reminder, Harris. if you're watching on the Joey YouTube playback, come join us live. Lauren Nicole is here. Like all these insiders on Facebook, I'm going to name the insiders right now. Here we go. I already Going did. back. Well, so, Steve. Pretty much. Jack. Here we go. Quincy. Brad Ray. <laughs> we have <laughs> Sheila Keller. Lee Rademacher. Richard Adler. Pete. Oh, I, I, ex I That's escalated way, way too high. We're <laughs> supposed to go half, half of Pete Karens. Michael Guthrie. There we go. <laughs> Douglas McElroy, Sandy Netburn, than I do. Terry A, Keith Mosenberger, Gina Meadow, really? Meter, Sandy you know, Netburn, Deegan Hudson. I'm doing it. We scale. have 111, 106 right now already. Beautiful. In the first three seconds of the show. We love it. Yeah. Well, well hey. I see those names. Where, how are you seeing different names than me? Oh, it's called I Have an Apple and It Just <laughs> Works. This is my friends is the magic phone this well, hey, if you are joining us samsung galaxy come on galaxy um oh yeah i love aaron sherman i can see that aaron sherman's a sharer right now and yeah he, uh, he said who needs dinner <laughs> um, exactly richard yeah aaron knows you don't that. need dinner yet hey everyone thank you for uh tuning in oh my gosh this is going to be so fun if in case you in case you missed it, Richard Adler, he is our um, performer spotlight, and we have an amazing interview with our special guest, Darcy Lynn. Darcy Lynn, the America's Got Talent winner. Woo! So we'll be diving That's into incredible. that uh, in mm -hmm. just a bit. Yeah. But if this is the first time, maybe you're joining us here at uh, Inside Axtell. My name is Ryan. 
This guy with the mic upgrade. This is Steve Axtell, and uh, we have the <laughs> privilege is, of. Is this like a better mic, Ryan? Because I don't know. You came and put this here, and you said, "Oh, I, oh, please, dude, you will I look got so good. I got the work order request so in my inbox that said, <laughs> from a sub- nameless superior, <laughs> come swap out mics.' Oh, come on. Um, but right. we're all about uh, exploring entertainment, creativity, and the mm-hmm. community that surrounds Axtell Expressions. Jeff is here from El Paso. What? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And we Yoli make is puppets here from Arizona. I used to live in Arizona. Is it F- F- Phoenix? Phoenixica? Yes. Don't try to say Connecticut. Phoenixica? <laughs> hey, we got <laughs> Meredith Halfon, Robert yeah. Schur. All right. And we got Amalia. Noah is here. Adair. Noah, what's up, dude? Noah, he says he wishes I would make a Scooby Doo puppet, but I can't because of copyrights. Copyright. So. Got to consider Man. that. Hey, if you guys would like to All get around right. the copyright issue, hit up Ryan Axtell Puppets with a Z dot com. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have much looser restrictions. Uh, so you hey, want that knockoff Axtell puppet? Ken Come Bell to Ryan. He's asking to see the dinky in an egg. I wonder why he's thinking that. Oh, my tonight. gosh, Ken. That's interesting. Very good, Ken. Hang around. You might just see that. Okay. Who yeah. needs dinner? You're right, Aaron. Yep. Richard, well, stop. We people. got a lot of great stop. stuff, as we mentioned. Right. Darcy Lynn's with us today. Richard Adler's mm-hmm. with us today. We're going to show you some new stuff. All right. Thanks for checking in um, and for sharing this video. We're going to do a yep. giveaway a right. little bit later. Here we go. Hey, let us know in the comments real quick before we move on to sharing some insider mm-hmm. photos. Uh, who all is at CAX? Let us know in the comments and maybe tell us something that you took away from CAX. I know a lot of you were there. We had some amazing presenters. Um, yeah. I'd love to share your comments here on the screen. Cax so let was us know. Just crazy good. So many of the insiders were there at the CAX conference. It was incredible this week. Really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, if you were there, say I was there in the comments. I believe because, Lawrence, yeah. who was back with us today, I believe yep. he was at CAX last week. Yep. Gina was there. A whole bunch of folks were there. Hey, Jerry. All right. Love that. Um, and uh, oh, Zach. Check this out, Steve. This no, is this no. is always a great day. Uh, Zach said, just got my Teresa email that his stuff is shipping. So, Zach, I got to film Woo! some of it a little bit earlier in the week. Product shipping. He's got he's doing some green screen <laughs> stuff. So yeah. he's got a custom alien. Sweet. Uh, and then he's also got a custom dino oh, with nice. different colors so that they work on uh, like, you know, chroma key for yeah. video stuff. Yeah. And so chroma we got key. to see it earlier in the week, and so he just got the shipping uh, notice, which to all of you who are, yeah. who are on the Axtell reserved order list, that's a badge of honor. Yeah. That is a that's a list oh. of elites. That's right. So you're in good company. Those of you Check that are this waiting. Out for Mario, Mario said I was there at Cax. He goes and never will miss another one. Um, S- Sheila was there at Cax to become a better vent. Great teachers. Yep. Sandy Netburn, what is Cax? Great question. Uh, it's a it's a uh, wonderful conference for entertainers that work with puppets or magic. Um, ballooning or juggling and you can join it by going to kadabra.org k-i-d-a-b-r-a dot o-r-g in fact from what I understand they're keeping the registration open until the 15th okay I may be wrong but check me out go rush there if you would uh, and sign up because you'll get a year of being able to review all of the lectures, the workshops, the entertainment, the gala show, the okay. Axtell um, presentations, uh, dealer shows, all that stuff. Very cool. Um, hey, Jerry, for thank you for sharing mm-hmm. the video as well. Uh, appreciate it. Well, Steve, should we check yeah, in yeah. Uh, with some of the insiders yeah. and see what we have um, yeah. going on? So the insiders have sent me stuff all week. I've got videos and photos and stuff. Check it out. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, this insider. Here we go. This is from Amanda Stump, who is an insider here. Wait a minute. Steve. Ah, that's so funny. Last week, I did the auction, and I put a green wig on, and then I popped my hat back on it. And so she drew it. Look at that. Isn't that look pretty cool? Look at that, Amanda Stump. And then- uh, How skinny I am, man. That's oh, you look, for sure. You that's look exact, great, dude. That looks exactly, exactly like, like you. Exactly like you. Exactly. Like uh, Nate, check this out. This is from Brad Ray. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. So, is it a lot of fun? Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm a little scared. Don't be scared, it's all right. Okay, here we go. Three, two, Be careful, one. guys. What are you doing? Woohoo! 
Yeah, this looks like fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. You saved it. Woohoo. Look out for the road. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going backwards. Help me. Help me. Help me. Oh. I think I'm a bit sick. <laughs> Whoa. Let's do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. So good. Let's do this. Sorry. So is it a lot of fun? Yes. Here's a, a lot of hilarious. Fun. This is oh, look um, at that. Dale Brown. Dale Brown with his magic drawing board. Dale Brown is going to be one of our special uh, guests coming up. Very cool. He's an incredible marketing genius. Um, and this cool Love shot. It. We got um, Ken Scott. This is from CAX yep. conference. We have uh, Ken Scott and uh, Mago Zazu. They yep. were doing That's a right, from Zoom, Mexico. Zoom call, I believe. Yeah, look at that. Both of our puppets along with uh, two great talents. Oh, my gosh. Incredible. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Um, I'm telling you, don't miss Cash. Marcelo Zakiri from Spain. Look at this. It's a cool <laughs> shot. He's got with Dusty the Dragon. He's grabbing his nose. And then speaking of Mario, Mario sent us this last week. He was catching up with the CAX conference and in Inside Axtel. <laughs> On his exercise bike. Yep. Hey, Steve, but the best part about this yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah. Um, Is that you can see two of me? No. Oh. The I'm old mic? No. Hold on, Your Steve. hair. Yeah. <laughs> I was zooming in right here. Bam. Look Mario at that hair. Was nailing the hair. Look at that Mario hair. Said, you guys can check out my emo that. band. We'll be playing with Fallout Boy and, Plan and uh, Panic at the Disco. It's going to be oh, great. Oh, my gosh. So just go ahead and just. Thank you, Jerry. Says it. Love Axtell. Appreciate it, man. Check that Brad out. Ray Axel does it right. Well, Gina, awesome cat. Yeah. Yep, so, anyways. They love your cat. Anyways, just kept zooming in on my hair there. Moving on. Hey, this is Peter from Italy. I oh, love it. He was a cax as well. Look at this. Look at this setup he's got. Yeah, that's nice. Peter Quite. from Italy. Peter Sventli or something like that. Nope, not even close. How, how do you do it? Moving on. We have Reiner. Uh, this is him. Reiner from Germany. You want to check Reiner out on Instagram? So this is our Louis, Laughing Louis. Look at all the different looks he's got Louis in, just with costuming. Check it out. And then here's another shot amazing. of uh, Reiner's collection. Look at this. He's got the broken, he's got the dino egg what? in the middle. With Look the at pieces that. pieces that you toss out. This is Reiner's collection, his Axtel collection. I'm honored to have a room in his house. So cool. <laughs> All right, this is... Oh, um, one of many rooms. Oh, thank you, Reiner. This is uh, Takandri, if I'm saying that right. Takandri from no, Mexico. that's not the right way to say it. But okay. <laughs> With Cheese to Raton. Look at that. It's a pretty awesome promo that. shot. Yeah. They are. Uh, and then we got uh, Chiark and Lot Puchala from Germany. Again, probably nailing those names exactly. Look at this. Love it. Got the platypus. Love it. Love it. And the dodo bird. Oh, whoa. Yep, that's the dodo. Look, I didn't even notice the platypus. I knew, yeah. Way up front. Bam. Pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that's I checking it was a in. surfboard. Checking in with the insider. So you can always send in your photos to us. Yeah. We would, uh, we'd love to share them. Yeah. Oh, we got some great stuff from Darcy coming up, folks. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. Darcy Lynn, winner of America's Got Talent, is going to be joining us soon. Yeah. And just actually, I think she's coming up in just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. But right now, I want to show you something with our dinosaur. That's right. Yeah. So we had some, obviously, a lot of interest in the. This little guy. D-Rex. Brand this is new. our D-Rex, our dinky dino. Uh, dino. Dino. D-Rex. D-Rex. Yeah, this little guy, you know, he's only $119, and he is so cool, and a lot of people have said, hey, he could hatch from your egg. Be he careful that mic, your Steve. Egg. You got that mic upgrade. You're going to lose it. Nailed it. Well, it's kind of heavy, so it tilted on me without notice. <laughs> it's supposed to notify me. if I thought it was smart. A smart mic. Yeah. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Okay, this is our egg, right? Correct. All right. I'm going to go ahead and load this up because it's got a few surprises. And for those of you who are insiders, for those of you that are insiders, you'll get this. I'm going to go ahead and load this up with the dyno and put it inside. Okay. So now I'm completely loaded and ready to go. So okay. you come out in your show, and you say, hey, folks, 
look at this egg I got, this incredible egg. It's a prehistoric egg, and oh my gosh, it's starting to hatch. <gasps> what? Hatching egg, yeah! Look at that. This is the hatching egg with our baby D Rex, the Dinky Dino. Yeah, Dinky Dino. Love it, love it, love it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come, come back here, come back here. What? <laughs> and now he's out of his egg entirely, and you can go ahead and perform. Isn't that cool? So that's the hatching that's really egg. Oh, cool. that's how cool. In this fact, little guy. Let me throw a, I'll throw a link in the uh, yeah. in the comments for those of you that are interested. Oh my gosh. So it's a great, yeah, it's a great use. So I wanted to show you that before we go to Darcy, just because it is so freaking cool and everybody's been asking to see the little baby dinky dino or the D-Rex hatching from the Axtill egg. Yeah. Very cool. Back so I for those that are interested, I, I put a link in the comments yeah. to pick up the uh, hatching egg. It's a great gag, and the cool thing is you can use it with other puppets. Um, you can use Super. it with our dino head. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, do we want to check in, Steve? Yes. Should we change things up? What's this mugwatch thing? What are the people saying? Um, let's see. Nothing about. Oh, looks like no one's saying anything, Steve. Yay. Back to you, Steve. Yay, Darcy. <laughs> Can't wait for the pink one. Yeah, there is going to be a pink dino as well as a green one, Ryan. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. The D-Rex is dino -rific. <laughs> Mark Daniel said. That was a good one. All hey, right. Sandy Steve. gave me like 20 hearts. What do you think of that, Ryan? Yes. Pretty cool, Steve. But I wanted to check in right now because that mug looks dangerously close to the edge. I'm looking at you, Tiki Cam. What is going on with that mug, Steve? You uh, thought... This is the Axtell mug. You thought you could hide it. We're safe. We're safe. It is not going to break. I have broken mugs on the show before, and Ryan has got mug watch to keep me from being reckless. So... And is I it working? Be crazy. Come on. Let's get crazy, folks. Is it working? But, nope. You know, we keep it we keep it mellow here because Ryan has a lid on it. That's true. So he wears hat. All right, hey, let's without further ado, mm -hmm. let's check in Darcy Lynn with our friend Darcy <gasps> Lynn. Ah, yes. All right. Oh my gosh, it's Darcy Lynn and Gary Owen. And it's Inside Xtel with Steve Xtel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, Gary. Uh, this is great. Um, I know you're a voiceover guy. We had, um, the last time all three of us were together, uh, Darcy had just won America's Got Talent. Yeah. And she, and you had come to our CAX conference to teach. Uh, ventriloquism and because you were Darcy's coach we had you um, stream in uh, Darcy and we had a great interview with her and she was just a child then now she's a teenager can you believe that oh man I'm 16 now it's crazy wow. nuts I know man, this, but driving now 2020 was a crazy year for you because you turned 16 mm -hmm. got your driver's license mm -hmm. and you got a car oh yeah what yeah. does that feel like? I mean, not just a car, okay? Tell them what you got, Darcy. I, I got a pretty sporty car. I really love it, but it's an Audi Q5. It's really fast. Whoa, whoa, so, whoa. And it's, and it's pretty small, though. It's, it, fits, it fits my size since I'm really small, but it, it's been really fun. I was so excited to get my license. Definitely a milestone. I mean, I've been waiting yeah. forever, and I've definitely burned a lot of gas just driving with my best friend Lily everywhere. <laughs> I know I I've seen uh, your your uh, show and I saw this incredible uh, the actual driver's test that you took with Edna. Oh yes, okay. The spin with Darcy Lynn. Yeah, we did a really fun video. Um, it was a driver's test nightmare, and Edna was the one yes. giving my giving me my driver's test 
and you know it's a nightmare so I'm doing terribly it was really fun to film actually um really? it was really a blast. great the yeah. production values were incredible on that animation <laughs> and drama yes, and thanks. dream oh sequences you have my brother to thank to thank for that we that's even really great a lot together my older brother Dalton has been helping me a lot with my YouTube um because you know that's really all we can do right now since we're not traveling mm. but yeah. it's been really fun getting into YouTube but yeah Absolutely. Well, that's the way you're maintaining your fan base, national and international. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, really important. Hey, um, a story. I got a flashback to your, well, Christmas special was one of them. That was amazing. But before that, there was a little adventure that we had with this guy. Yes, I was seeing that back there, and I'm like, that looks familiar. Mr. Simon Cowell, that was so that was so hilarious and fun, but I had, so I was performing for this thing called NBC Upfronts and they were like, oh my gosh, really, we really want you to have a Simon puppet. So they called, they called Mr. Steve and um, they were like, Mr. Steve, we really need you to make a Simon Cow puppet. And he made this incredible replica of Simon and I got to take him on stage in front of like a lot of people. It was, was kind of scary. Yeah, I was just talking like for Simon with like the puppet with an English accent, like a Brit British accent. It was really crazy. And it was, it was all like last minute too. So it oh, was, was really it? Oh. fun. And I took pictures with Simon with Simon. Yeah. <laughs> it what, was crazy. <laughs> was was he doing uh, the voice back behind the curtain? Was that part of the act? No. no, no? Oh, okay. No, actually, I they wanted me to, doing try it? Sweet. to do like a British accent. And of course my voice is super high. So <laughs> It was kind of like weird having to try to, you know, make his voice, but it was definitely an adventure and the puppet sure. was so amazingly well. Oh, so. Well, you, you could um, actually, you know, show them how you talk. <laughs> Hello guys, my name's Simon Cowell. It's going to be a no from me. <laughs> <It was> <laughs> well, this is really cool because um, I was at um, one of the recent shows was last year or last year, let's say, um, in L.A., America's Got Talent. So I was there for Peter Norgard, another ventriloquist from, actually from Denmark. And we were sitting there as his fans, and we held up the all the deal. Well, after America's Got Talent was over, uh, we were walking around the building, and here walks Simon. He's going to his car with a couple of bodyguards. And, uh -huh. and I yelled out, Simon! And, of course, he looked at me a little strange because it's dark and it's a back alley mm -hmm. he goes hello and i said i'm uh, steve axel i made the puppet of you for darcy lynn and he stopped in his tracks spun around and he said you're kidding and i said no and i pulled up my phone you know and i i got the picture oh, and he God. goes we got to get a picture together and he put his arm around me and i held up the camera so and funny. Isn't yeah. that cool? He was That's so proud of you. He's just, he is really, he's a really cool guy. Yeah. He's awesome. But yeah. Absolutely. That's a cool story. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was super fun. So I, I, I name dropped your name and got Simon to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love that. So, you know, it's so uncertain right now with the pandemic and, uh, but it looks hopeful. It looks like in 2021, we're going to be back in action at some point. Yeah, um, live. What are your plans, and do you have any scheduled appearances? Yes, yeah, so I am really hoping to get back on tour and doing my live shows everywhere in July. And we do have a lot of them already rescheduled, res rescheduled uh -huh. um, from, Say that without from last lips. year. So, yeah. you know, all the shows that got canceled are rescheduled, and we've been put on some new ones I think for 2022 so so excited to get back out there it's been it's been a while you like the road <laughs> I, I hope I'm not rusty <laughs> no no I know Gary's got you working uh but Gary's not only your coach uh I know uh, in the ventriloquist community we all know that Gary you know is your ventriloquist coach but a lot of people don't know he is your road manager as well road, manager, road, tour. Yeah. road tour producer road tour yeah. Yep. Gary knows the name. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the in, the amount of work Gary has put in for my live show is just insane. We are so thankful to have him helping us out creative-wise and just everything-wise. He's, he's real. He's the guy. I know. 
I know. He's amazing. That's why we had him come and teach and why he does. Uh, we do. Actually, Gary, you have really become kind of the the coach for Got Talent stuff, huh? Well, um, since uh, our success with Darcy, uh, through obviously through the media and connections, um, ventriloquists uh, around the world who have been interested in performing Got Talent have connected to me and asked me uh, if I would coach them for this particular mm -hmm. um, type of coaching because it's more advanced than the basics and fundamentals, which I do do some of the fundamentals, but I prefer those who've already got the technique sure. down and, sure. and are serious and committed because uh, it's a lot of hard work. When, I, when Darcy and I started working together, and Darcy can back this up, especially uh, preparing her for America's Got Talent, uh, it was two to three days a week. It was two hours or more a day. Uh, yeah. And I can tell you that Darcy worked very hard in between yeah. those uh, times yeah. with her mom and her voice coach. And that's something I want to mention that I'm just the ventriloquist side of Darcy. Yes. Darcy has a professional vocal coach. Mm -hmm. And then the other side of that glass is her mom and her dad. Her mom is a beautiful yeah. singer. Misty. Has been yeah. instrumental in obviously, oh. uh, you know, mo motivating Darcy from the beginning all the way up. But uh, her mother and I worked in tandem a lot together to help groom Darcy yes. for, uh, for AGT. Yeah. What yeah. is your father's role in, in all of this, Darcy? Clark. My goodness. My dad. I don't know what we do without him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he has really loved exploring the business side of everything mm. that goes behind, you know, show business and and Hollywood and all of that. He's really good um, at math and everything. He used to be a sales manager um, for banks and everything. Wow, cool. I think, I think I'm getting that right. I think I, but he's really talented in that area, all the business side. And I mean, also, I mean, not only just the business, he is super creative as well. And, and even my mom. I mean, when we're yeah. talking about like my show and everything, mm -hmm. everyone has super good ideas and jokes even so i mean oh, everything cool. we do is like a big collaboration we're like what wow about this? what about that but yeah i mean everybody's really creative and even my brothers yeah are and, too. <laughs> and, and uh, dalton is shooting some of the videos for youtube yeah he's oh, that's so cool. really getting into the social media and helping me with that because i'm i'm not really i'm not really like too tech savvy and he's pretty smart with all that well you're on camera so you don't have to be yeah and it would be it would be <laughs> terrible for you to have to deal with that in your mind, you know, both ways. Mm -hmm. If I didn't have Ryan switching for me or, or, you know, putting the whole show on together inside Axtell every week, it would not, it would not be happening. <laughs> Although Darcy's Darcy has gotten very good with TikTok. She's pretty yeah. savvy with that technology. And she started that a long time ago. And as she's evolved, she's learned more and more about video. She understands what it takes to make good videos. So absolutely. Uh, I think that, but it is a collaborative effort. She's right. It's a, it's a, it's a Darcy team. And then we want to uh, add credit to her band. She has got a really, really solid band. Darcy talk uh, about those guys. Having, so having a band, um, we started with them, I think, you know, about a year ago, right, Gary? Mm -hmm. A little over a year nice. ago. And we decided right, to- Two get... years ago, because we started two in 2019 with them. Gosh. Okay. Wow. Two years ago, that's so weird. Um, having a band has been so amazing. I think it's really helped me um, learn more about, you know, how to carry a band and lead a band and mm. how a show works better, I think. It, yeah. it works better with them anyways, but learning how to have that control, you know, they've, they've also taught me a lot about music in general and instruments and just mm. how all of that really comes together and they're all crazy talented so it's yeah. been and it just it, they make the show really <laughs> you're uh, so like it when i couldn't believe when i was in vegas watching terry fader and his band you know the way the band backed him up and it was just so uh -huh. incredible the choreography that goes on between right. songs and all the special effects that they can add to what you're doing so cool. I can't wait to see one of your live shows. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. You should where, definitely come. Where, where are They're you going really in 2021? Oh, my gosh. Um, we are on the West Coast uh, some this, uh, this next, next year, but this year, but I don't remember the exact dates and okay. where. Yeah. They, awesome. If you want, you can go to my website, DarcyLynn.com, and they should all be on there. Okay. Um, so i got to memorize everywhere we're going. Sure. I'm, we're all over the map. So many places. Wow. I'm like, oh. I don't know. Are you going out of the country as well? No. Don't have any international dates booked. Um, that would be incredible. I mean, I yeah. 
haven't really toured out of the country yet, but that would be really cool. I am almost reached every state. I've been to 46 states. Oh my goodness sakes. Yeah. There might be 51 <laughs> soon. I know. I really want, <laughs> I want to. With want DC. To all off. Right. What's remarkable, Steve, for Darcy is um, uh, for an adult, it's crazy. But for, uh, for someone who is, first of all, uh, an academic achiever, Darcy's a straight A student. Uh, she's done, a, uh, obviously, since touring, she's done a lot of her schooling online. But uh, we did uh, in 2018, 2019, we averaged about 50 shows per year, mostly on weekends because of her schooling. So yeah. in the summertime, of course, we toured more. But when you think about this, the rehearsals, the material, learning the yeah. songs, all yeah. of the uh, everything that goes into a production. And then you think about the travel and mm. some weekends we're doing double dates. So we're in one city one day and, and another city the next day. And we're doing an evening show here and an afternoon show there. Uh, so we talk about the driving, the flying. Uh, and then you talk about trying to keep up with homework and trying mm -hmm. to manage, you know, she's in front of the public, thousands of people, and she's doing meet and greets after shows. It's a very long, grueling schedule yeah. for someone her age. But I will tell you, Darcy is a, is a professional all the way. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I would like to credit her for is her interaction with her fans. She is so good at meet and greet yeah. and people that see her. Uh, she's very, very, when the kids come up to her, I mean, of course, she's an idol to them. Mm -hmm. And yep. uh, she's, oh, I know. <laughs> she's, she's a mirror because she was there once. And so she understands how cool it is to see a celebrity. And she's just really, really great with her fans. Yeah, you know no. how many times I've said no to can you make us a pink rabbit? <laughs> she, yeah, I'm sure you get a lot of requests for a petunia right you you have inspired so many kids and we get a whole bunch of calls from moms wanting their kids to get started in ventriloquism because of darcy oh, that's it's amazing yeah, that's amazing well i mean at my shows we see all of the kids i mean um almost every one of them bring either up their own puppet or their stuffed animal and they'll oh. sit in the front row and they'll make their puppet go and you know like oh my gosh it's just it's so cool to see that you know i inspire those kids to do that it's insane that is incredible <laughs> and i know you're a really disciplined girl because you you even were in pageants and gymnastics and oh, stuff sure. as a kid i did gymnastics for I think five years or almost five years. It was really before ventriloquism even happened. That was my passion. I was, that was what I really wanted to do. I know. I mean, I was really headed yeah. big time with that because I had done it so long and I wanted to go elite and I wanted to go to the Olympics. And, you know, when I told my coaches that I wanted to quit and do ventriloquism, <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> They're like, why? They were, they really didn't want me to, but I think it was a really good decision. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, I, I got to go into the dreamland right now in your subconscious. Uh, first, I'll start with Gary. Gary, what was it like the first time you saw Darcy and recognized what you were witnessing? Take us well, there. I had some friends at church that told me about her. They had seen her in this first competition, Edmonds Got Talent, which is a community in Oklahoma City area where we live. And they had seen Darcy the night before and said they just came up to me because they knew what I did. And they said, Gary, we saw this little girl. Uh, her name is Darcy. She's 10 years old. She's self-taught. She's only been doing ventriloquism a month and she yodels without moving her mouth. And I'm like, what? So I went home and sure enough, her mother had posted uh, a video on Facebook and I just couldn't believe what I was seeing because, you know, at the convention, obviously, I mentor. I'm on a panel where uh, we critique right. kids in the open mic and that kind of thing. But Darcy had something different. It was mm. totally it just something that struck me. Uh, and I tell people who can relate to this, she had that Ronnie Howard, Shirley Temple magic about her. It was mm -hmm. just that something little yeah. sparkle about her that I just said she was born with this. That's so true. I contacted the Edmund Arts Council. I gave my phone number. I said, look, would you pass this on to the family? I would like to mentor this child. Now, at that time, none of this was on the platter. I just wanted to give back. And when her parents and I finally connected and her dad was like, well, we have so many things going on. Uh, why do you want to do this? And why do you want to donate your time? And yeah. I said, look, I'm at a stage of my life where I want to give back. Hmm. And Darcy being in the community and being uh, we don't have ventriloquists here that much. So I said, she has got a unique talent. And I, and I was level with him. I said, look, she's different. 
And I said, I really want to help her. I said, now, if she doesn't carry it on within six weeks to six months, I said, no loss. I said, but I really feel I can help Darcy be a better ventriloquist. And that's where it wow. started. What and the insight. room settled was just door after door after door after door. Right, right Darcy? Funny. Um, Cause you know, when Gary like contacted the Emin Arts and then they contacted my parents, my dad was like, well, protective dad mode. He's like, yeah. who is this yeah. guy? Uh -huh. Who is this guy? And um, looked him up and everything and seemed pretty uh -huh. legit. So we met him at Chili's. I, that's like, well, I don't know why I vividly, vividly remember meeting you at Chili's. Chili's. It I'll was never forget that day. Yep. <laughs> wow. Okay, Darcy, your turn. What was it like, the, the emotions and the dreamlike experience of getting that? It's just like, what? Like everyone's just, everyone loves this. Everyone's supporting this. And I got the golden buzzer. Like what's happening to me? But it was, it's definitely a day I will never forget. Yeah. Cause it really just started everything for me. It and, was a flood uh, of emotions. You, you went, you yeah, cried. I, yeah, I definitely ugly cried. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm an ugly crier. So I definitely, that made for great TV. Cause yeah, I was, when Mel I, hit that. I, I, but, um, yeah, it was crazy. I so want to. Well, I want to say something. You interjected something here. Darcy had had quite a bit of performance experience doing ventriloquism before she launched uh, into that competition because we got her bookings into corporate events. Uh, but she was doing a lot more, right? But it was it was never that many people though. The biggest sure, right. I think I had ever performed for was Vent Haven, right? Mm -hmm. It was like six hundred people. Mm -hmm. uh, the, event, the event convention. But talk and about then, pressure there. You're in front of your peers, so that makes yeah, yeah. And, then and she I, was on. Was you were on I the bill with Todd Oliver and uh, Kevin yeah. Johnson, right? Yeah, that was fun. But yeah, that was the most people I had ever performed for um, at the time. <laughs> it's grown a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, so your your uh, success has just continued to bloom. You're doing national tours coming up, um, and it's all because of your incredible talent, um, beauty, and your the entire package. You know, your your voice is just overwhelmingly beautiful and has continued to develop as you've grown. Uh, but we can't leave out the most important part of your show, the characters. We're doing you. <laughs> Come yeah. on. I do I do have Petunia sitting over here. She would love ah, to, yes. love to talk about herself. So. She would. Yeah, I know. Right. Let's see if she's up for chatting with you, Mr. Steve. I don't know. Oh, she's getting oh, her uh she, Petunia's been a big star on Nickelodeon, of course. Gary, stop yeah. talking. It's my turn. Look. Okay, <laughs> go for it, Petunia. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Steve. How are you? Oh, Petunia, I'm so honored that you would come on our show. You oh. are now an insider. Oh, stop. I love it. <laughs> I love being an insider. You know, I just can't believe Darcy would do the first half of this interview without me. Jeez. She kept she you in a box. That everyone just wants to see me. You know what I do for a living? Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's incredible. I love it. I see. Listen, I seen Simon on the side over here. Where is he? Oh, he's here. Oh. Simon. Oh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hello, Simon. Petunia. Hello. <laughs> is this thing on? He looks so real. He looks so real. But yeah, I'm living life. I um, actually have been loving quarantine. You know, I'm just, I'm just hanging out i've been singing around the house you know yeah how do you like darcy's driving um we don't talk about <laughs> darcy's driving you know <laughs> everyone is really scared to drive with me and he, i don't know why oscar's scared to drive with me and i won't even <laughs> step foot in the car i mean it's edna just, was the first right yeah and now she doesn't even come with me anymore <laughs> <laughs> She became the window knocker. <laughs> Get me out of here. Oh, my gosh. You're great characters. Um, I like the new one, Ivan, that Barry made for you. Oh, no, we don't, we don't talk about Ivan. You don't? Oh, sorry, Petunia. <laughs> Ivan have a past. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You, know, they, you know, they used to date, right? They used to be a thing. Ah, mm -hmm. so that's, so she, uh, 
So sorry to bring that up. <laughs> Why did you have to? Come on. Well, I understand he has his eye on you. No, we're never getting back together. I already told him, you know? I already blocked him on Facebook and everything. <laughs> yeah. We have a rocky uh, past. Fun stuff. Ah. Uh, yes. Well, Petunia, you are a blessing to so many people. You know, you've inspired a lot of other kids to get puppets and uh, adults that have thought, man, oh, man, you know, <laughs> that girl sitting next to you is really something. You I know, hope you feel privileged to be with her. Steve, thank you. You know, <laughs> you know, everyone just gawks over Darcy, but I think she needs to realize that I'm the one that has, you know, made her something. You know yeah. what I mean? I just need to be appreciated. I know. Appreciated. It's not not going to happen. Not going to happen. So I think I, I have a question here. Is uh, Petunia involved in uh, helping you write your songs? Oh, yeah. Songs? No, that's been all Darcy. You know, she's um she's explored solo a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Tell us about you got you got some your songwriting now. Yes. So your own stuff. Whenever I was you know, traveling and doing live shows everywhere. I was never home. So I never had the time to explore that. And, you know, quarantine happened and I had time at home. I was like, what am I going to do with myself? Yes. And I got songwriting and it's going really well. I am super passionate about it. And it's just, it's going really well. I've written, I think now seven songs. Wow. And, um, I want to record them soon, but I'm, yep. it's, Super exciting. Yeah, fantastic. And I love the way that you spin it because um, COVID and pandemic has shut down. People can react two different ways to it. Uh, they can either shut themselves down and get depressed, or they can use that downtime creatively to yeah. take you somewhere else. Love it. Love it. It's been well, thank really you, Darcy, for coming. I appreciate it so much, Gary. Thank you um, for being with us and for doing all that you're doing with Darcy to make the world happier. Mm -hmm. uh, you're both, both very, very good friends, and I love you very much. Thank you so much for coming hey, on Inside Steve, Accident. One more thing, Steve, one more thing. Oh, oh, oh. So we have, um, I just wanted to mention, check this out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has, a, she has a surprise here for oh, you. Steve, so hold it's on. Cool. Okay, hold on. Look at this. No other way. But Otherwise, wait, there's more. What? Oh my god. There's gosh. more. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, how yeah. did you not want to be Petunia? Oh I my god. This. If um any if anybody wants to, you know, check these out, they're on my website. There's oh, and, and there's an Oscar version. An Oscar mask and oh, ears. fun and ears. Yeah, That's so there's great. the Oscar ears. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> That is so clever. Oh, <laughs> bravo. Oh, that's incredible. Really loved those and decided to cook them up when um, COVID happened and thought my, uh, my fans would love that. So That's a great combination. Yeah. So what's the website address? I'm back. Um, DarcyLynn.com. Oh, I thought it was Petunia.com. Sorry, Petunia. You no, know, I said that. I had that idea, and then they just axed it. They just <laughs> they like, no. Yeah, I mean, sorry, Petunia. We had to put that idea aside. <laughs> oh, that is incredible. Uh, congratulations on all your successes. This has been an amazing visit with you. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate right. you having us. Having us You're on. insiders. All right. <laughs> Come on. Hit that like button for Petunia. Oh, yeah. All right. And Darcy, what a sweet spirit. Yeah. So fun to have her join us here. Oh, my gosh, Ryan. Are you ready? Be careful with my mic, Steve. Tell them what's going to be happening. We're going to be giving away a starter puppet. Steve? Whoa, one off Steve Shelv. Starter. Oh. You know, somebody here is going to be receiving this tonight. So uh, hit that like button. Know, how do we know who we're going to give it to? Um, Hi, how are you? Well, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Did you see Darcy? I saw Darcy, yeah. <laughs> we will be... <laughs> all um, right. Yeah, all right. To, we're going to give away this puppet tonight to somebody 
Yep. All you do is pay shipping. And all you do is, sh- is share the video. I'm going to put you in a box. We're going to ship you to their house. No! No. <laughs> So yeah, yeah share this video, and I will pick. Yeah. I will pick yeah. a name uh, from the people who shared. That's right, man. What do you know? It might be Joe Bilbo. Who knows? It could be Sandy. You know everything. Jennifer Jones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Summer's yeah. got got this guy. That's it. Yeah. Oh. So, anyways, love it. Love it. Um, and we're going to include an extracts with it. Okay. So, so this is coming up. Not only do you get. A starter puppet, but you can pick one of our bird-themed axe tracks as a free download. That's a pre-recorded routine. Could be Happy Bird Day, where the bird's voice is recorded. Oh, my gosh. And you don't have to be a ventriloquist. You're doing that as well? We are, man. All right. We're going big. Sounds good. Um, And then, of course, course we got got an interview with... uh, We got a performer spotlight with Richard Adler. Steve, skipping dinner right now, waiting on us. Steve, do you want me to roll that right now? No, let's don't roll that beautiful bean footage yet. Okay. Did you uh, have chores you, that you needed to do? No, I don't need to do any chores, but you do. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. hmm. Probably want to move that bird, right? I might want to. Yeah. yeah. Just. I don't want it to block. Bird. I don't want it to block uh, Richard. Ryan, uh, I need for you to go do some chores right now. Dude, come on. I, I'm i super excited that we uh, had Darcy Lynn. I wanted to hang out, check the chats, I see what's going on. I need you to go do some on. chores, like get the Prius, start it up, run out to the green barn, look at the manual. I need you to shuck the snakes, tickle the turtles. Mm-hmm, yep, got it. What do you mean in one ear and out the other? Mm-mm, I didn't. I didn't mean that. I think you're on 4G. Cheese the I'm goats. O- I'm over here on 5G. So all right, just do those three things. If you would just, you've, you haven't done one yet. If you would just do those three things instead of twelve things. Okay, give me the three things again. <sighs> Shuck the snakes. Kay. Tickle the turtles and Kay. cheese the goats. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. All right. See you in a second. Awesome. All okay. Right. And now it's time to ask the tiki. <laughs> give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. What's up, everybody? Say it with me now. Give it to me, baby. baby. All right. Oh, we have some questions for you from the insiders uh, from uh, Facebook. And, oh, here's Tony Borders. Um, oh, great and wise Tiki. Yes. Do you have any good or bad habits ingrained? Ha ha ha, pulling out the wood puns at the first question. <laughs> Tony's my kind of guy. Well, I would say that I have a lot of things ingrained in me, but I would have to go with about 2,000 years ago. It's probably halfway through my set of tree rings, but we had an amazing... <laughs> Rainy season, and it's probably one of my favorite rings. So I would say my bad habit is counting my rings all day. Oh, my gosh. All right. Here's one from Steve Petra. He says, oh, great, Tiki. Hey, he's a New Yorker. Hey, kind of a wise guy, eh? Are you a descendant of Barney Rubble's car, or is that something you'd rather not talk about? Well, Steve, I'd rather not talk about it because my dad is actually Barney Rubble's car. (laughs) So, <laughs> kind of hard for me to talk about. But the truth is, they were filming a 50s surf movie here on the island of Tahiti, where I live, obviously. And my top half was turned into a period piece Woody car. So, I would say it was a step up from, you know, Barney Rubble's car. But still, my top half is a car, and my bottom half is a demigod. <laughs> demigod. Uh, uh, oh, here's another one from uh, uh, Tony Borders. T-Boards. T-Boards. Okay, What's going go. on, T-Boards? Uh, what predictions would you carve out, he's really big on the puns, for 2021? Well, I would carve out more bandwidth and time to watch me, your favorite Tiki, on Tiki Talk. That's right, pranks and gags galore. Tune in for little short 15-second video clips and song parodies. You're going to love it. Hey, hit that like button, subscribe, like. Uh, Anyways, I'm trying to up my social media game. So like and subscribe, thanks. (laughs) Is it working? I don't have arms, so I can't check. <laughs> but a I'll passing check. ship I'll had a sailor on it who was up on TikTok and Instagram and set me up accounts. 
If I ever see him again, I'll ask him to check the uh, metrics. Uh, Tristan Holstetter. Nailed it. Asked, is that is this Tiki on Tiki Talk? Why, yes. Thanks for asking. But here's the deal. Tiki Talk is a trademark thing. So this is an official <laughs> cease and desist, Tristan. Never say it again without giving me credit. <laughs> I think you own Tiki Talk, and if not, we will make it. We have over like one users. <laughs> okay, uh, Sile says... It's Sheila. <laughs> Baby. Sheila says, oh, great Tiki. Do you have trouble with woodpeckers? And if so, how do you protect yourself? Keep in mind, woodpeckers are a protected species. So I guess that eliminates grenades. Also, I don't have <laughs> arms to pull the pins of the grenades. So that doesn't work. Well, Sheila, look at my teeth. My teeth used to connect until the woodpeckers pecked them away to get at the food in my stomach. So, yes, there's a woodpecker problem. Luckily, woodpeckers are a species that's found in North America, not Tahiti. So not much of a problem unless they migrate. And this has been Science with the Tiki. <laughs> Science with the Tiki. All right, here's one from Lawrence. Of Arabia? Lawrence. Kansas? And, all right, so Lawrence Bad and I. Bad and I. I saw that Bad coming. I. Okay, what you got for me, Bad Lawrence, I. baby? Bad and I. All right, he says... Uh, Lawrence says, oh, great and wise and powerful Tiki. Ah, thank you. The trifecta. The Tiki trifecta, they say. <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> he says, uh, it currently feels like minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit in my part of the world. Whoa. What would you do if you ever found yourself on a frozen body of water? Well, the first thing I'd do is move to a balmy tropical <laughs> island. Lawrence, what's stopping you, baby? And he says, I know ice skating would be difficult for you as you do not have legs, and ice fishing because you do not have hands. Well, my favorite pastime, <laughs> if I am so unlucky as to be found in negative 40 degree weather, is ice floating. So what happens is you wait for a strong wind to blow you into the water and you lay there for hundreds of years sometimes. Ice floating? And if you're lucky, some lumberjacks will come and stand on you and try to spin you around with their spiked shoes. Exactly. <laughs> Kirk Douglas did that to me while singing, Got a whale of a tale to tell you, lad, a whale of a tale or two, about the flapping fish and the girls I love on nights like this with the moon above. Whale of a tale, and it's all true, I swear by my tattoo. And that was from Disney's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which was made from the novel by Jules Verne. Oh, my gosh. Back to you, Steve. <laughs> I don't know how I can keep going. This is so amazing. All right. Carlo Pinsa from South Africa said, oh, great, 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 great tiki. I think there's one more great in there. Check. Oh, great, 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 great tiki. Nope. Just oh. four. Well, that will make this answer snarky. <laughs> are you, are your fellow tikis wearing masks? Well, the truth is we are inanimate objects that have been brought to life by supernatural forces, so we don't actually breathe. Therefore, no droplets come out of our mouth, so no masks are needed. But stay safe. Okay. Because I'm standing next to the guy with the biggest mask. He has the biggest mask <laughs> all the time, right there. He always wears 200 feet away, the biggest mask. <laughs> so don't tell him. Oh, Trump jokes. All right, on the Biden. On the Biden. Now All right, here we go from Lee Rademacher. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, my mouth didn't move. <laughs> What's that? Aho. <laughs> Do it again. Aho. Do it again. Aho. <laughs> Sorry, time pitch. difference. It's the pitch that makes the transmitter not transmit. Aho. Yeah, Aho. Evidently. Evidently. Well, okay. Aho. All right, Lee Rademacher. Give it to me, Lee. Oh, great Tiki. Who's on first? Well, first off, I'm more of a football guy, not much of a baseball guy. <laughs> Secondly, I'm more of a Laurel and Hardy guy. 
<laughs> Abbott and Costello's on the list, but I would say second to Laurel and Hardy, we have the Honeymooners. Then we have in third place, I would have to say Bob Hope and Bing Crosby and the series of movies, The Road to <laughs> Name the Country. Then I think next would be not quite Abbott and Costello. I think we'd go Three Stooges. <laughs> Then I think we'd go Charlie Chaplin. Oh, my gosh. Then we'd go James Cagney, who's not even a funny guy, but I can nail his accent. So. <laughs> it's not even close to James then, Cagney. <laughs> then we would have a Laurel and Hardy, but not for who's on first. It would Laurel, be for their mummy movie. Laurel and Hardy. Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> Here's one from uh, a UK, Joe B- Bigelow. Nope. That's not it. Nope. Joe Billo. Still nope. not it. Joe Bilbo. There it is. Bilbo Baggins. Joe Bilbo. It's a great said, song by Spock, Leonard Nemo. Bilbo, Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. For, for real, go look up that song. He made an album where he was following in William Shatner's footsteps and made weird albums. <laughs> and spoken he made words? one. No. It's spoken words with a chorus that goes, Bilbo. <laughs> Bilbo. <laughs> Check it out, Leonard Nimoy. Anyways, back to you, Joe Bilbo. All right. Joe Bilbo from the UK says, and he is, of course, can you say it with me? Scuba Dabba Joe, 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 Oh, great and all powerful Tiki. Yes. Did you know that Scuba Dabba Joe got his original account back on TikTok? What? Yeah. You did it. You are back. And I know you'd be back, because you're a fighter. You get in the ring, and you take what's yours. <laughs> I don't know who I'm channeling. It's not Clint Eastwood. <laughs> it's kind of like Mickey no. from the Rocky movies. Exactly. You get in there. Mickey. And you take it. it. And you fight it. Come on. Come on. You get it. Rocky. It's going. Come it's on. Go, go, go. Rocky. Scuba <laughs> Dabba Joe. <laughs> did you even know that Scuba Dabba Joe had lost his TikTok account? Well... No, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> that sailor who tells me my social media stats hasn't been by in a while, so I haven't been able to check. Nonetheless. But welcome is, back, uh, Joey is, B. Yeah. Scuba Diva J. All right. We're leaving him, so let's give him his outro. Scuba Diva Joe. Scuba Diva Joe. Ooga laka, ooga laka, ooga laka Joe. All right. All right. Here's our last one for this evening. Okay. From Steve Petra. Yeah, from Long Island. Nailed it, Shay. I'm from Long Island. He says, "Ale, E A U X, French for O. Oh. Great, Tiki. Oh, how ratatouille Ale. of you. L, L, L. Curve your lips more. L. Nailed it. <laughs> Great, Tiki. How many different ways can you laugh? I love to laugh. <laughs> Loud and long and clear. Well, let's see. I can kind of even like this. <laughs> <laughs> or more of a guffaw. <laughs> <laughs> so I can laugh four ways that are very similar to each other. So, yeah, they are. How about one that's really different? <laughs> and even more different than that. Hoi 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 hoi. Hardy her her. Good night, Tiki. This has been another episode of Ask the Tiki. <laughs> okay. Good night. Um, what have you guys been up to? Hey, Ryan, how'd it go tonight at the barn? Well, I asked you first. What have you Green been up barn. to, man? Hey, we, man, oh, what have you? We've been doing a lot of stuff. We've been waiting for you to get back from your chores, and everybody's been wondering, what is Ryan doing while he's gone? Um, okay, great question. Mm-hmm. I was, you know, it's funny. I always uh, talk about not knowing what's going on. I was like, come on. I man. have 5G out here. I could just Nailed watch it. the show, Nailed it. and I could find out what I'm missing. Wait a minute. You were on Facebook? So I pulled up Facebook. No, no you didn't go to our account. The Steve. Inside Axto? Well, I don't like the page, so I couldn't see what was going on. And I didn't have time to like the page because there's. I, I needed to finish The Good Place. 
created by Mike Schur, who plays uh, a side character in The Office. He plays Cousin Moe's. He also yeah. created um, yeah. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and was a yeah. co-creator of Parks and Rec. Yeah. Anywho, caught up on The Good Place. All right, no good. spoiler alerts, but yeah. it got pretty good. Um, yeah. Finish that. What do you mean finish that? That wasn't what we said for you to do. Well, lucky for you, that was the first thing I accomplished. Oh. So I watched a show. <laughs> no. Um, I tickled the snakes. No. I deshelled the turtles. No. Wait. Shuck the snakes, tickle the turtles. So I shucked the turtles, and let's just say it got messy, because they don't like coming out of their shells. How do you shuck turtles? No. Well, I brought you the shells. I didn't know what you were going to do with them. Oh, my gosh. No. I'll go put them back on. I'll put them back on. And then the goats um, I found. No. But I didn't want to do it wrong. No. Whatever it is you wanted me to do, so I figured I'd come back and confirm with you. What to do. Yeah. So here I am. Okay. All right. Well, welcome back, Ryan. Thanks, man. Hey. This is a toucan a puppet that we're going to be giving away. Uh, That's right. A puppet? A giveaway. Uh, yeah, you're a puppet. Huh? Um, hold on. Adam yeah, Shields, shave the dog, was not on my list of things to do. <laughs> shave the And if it was, <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. Actually, our dear Lola... Our Australian Shepherd is going to get shaved tomorrow. Oh. Groomed tomorrow. Yep. Yep. Uh, hey, Lola. we got a giveaway coming up. Lola. I will pick from someone who has shared. Make sure to share this video. But Sandy raises a great yeah. question. Does she? Does she? Has your next guest eaten dinner yet? Uh, let's pretty, find out. Richard Adler, have you eaten dinner yet or are you still waiting? Because Richard is our performer spotlight <laughs> coming up. Yeah. Oh, my so, gosh. This is going to be given away tonight to somebody. Given away. And, Steve, what do they have to do to get it? <sighs> Share the video. That's all. All of um, all of sure? Darcy's people, uh, all of Inside Axtell, all of Cax, anybody that shares this video will go I onto could, a list. I could win. I could pick no, myself, and no not, one would you know. You and I cannot win. No one would know because no one can see my monitors. Ryan. Actually, that's what that camera is right there. Ryan. It's filming my screen to make sure I don't pick myself. That's right, friends. We use a DSLR to make sure that I don't. To make sure. Of course not. Mess. We will never screw that up. No, that's We bad. don't use Dominion to uh, calculate our <laughs> list of people because they can get hacked. All right. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, right. my gosh. This is so cool. Um, I need to tell you about uh, Richard or Jose. Who should we go for next? Oh, my gosh. I know. We so cool. Well, first, I seen to acknowledge Sandy, yeah. who said I'm super funny. Why would she say that? Um, because you go to the barn and <laughs> yep. not shuck snakes? I appreciate it. Glad funny? you're having fun with us, Sandy. Come on, um, Sandy. Why hey, you know what? Oh, Richard's coming up. I don't get it. Richard said I'm hungry. Okay, here's the deal. Let's go, right, Richard, Richard. and right. then let's go to Jose because we got something really cool. Richard, you uh, better you. while you're eating, you need to stay on the show, though. All right, here Even comes though, Richard. All right, Richard. Here we go. All this right. is Richard. Richard. All right, Jerry, pick me. Performer spotlight. Here I am in my warehouse, and I have all my different types of shows out here. I store them in different containers. So I have a barnyard show. I have a summertime fun show. I have an adult show. I have a steampunk show. I have all kinds of different shows. So I'm more of a character than anything else. I dress as a pirate. I dress as Obi-Wan Kenobi. I dress as different characters, uh, mad scientists and such, and that kind of thing. So my show is always changing uh, whatever different topics come up. So here I am in my office slash warehouse that I store all my puppets. These are the ones that are Axtell puppets that have to be in air conditioned because of the latex. I'm surrounded by all kinds of them. I have about 20 or 30 of different ones. And you can see I got the monkey, the platypus, the, the possum, another orangutan, a snake. I have a custom cow, a lion, and several other things, including an elephant and of course the uh, drawing board. And this guy here, I use him on a new walk around for kids because he's able to squirt at the kids. <laughs> yeah. 
I did a show uh, several years ago. It was for an autistic child, and I was using the Axtell chimpanzee because he was really relatable to the kids. After the show was done, the birthday child asked me if I could bring the puppet out again so he could give him a hug goodbye. I brought him out, and pretty soon uh, I had a line full of kids. Every kid in the party wanted to give the, the chimp a hug goodbye. It was a very sweet moment. In fact, the parents were in the background kind of crying a little bit because the, these kids did not like to be touched. And for them, to touch the puppet was emotional for the uh, adults. Well, my nightmare story <laughs> has to do with this guy here. Oh, yeah. This is Dusty the Dragon. I was doing a show at a preschool, and um, the part of the show where I want to bring out the puppet and blow smoke in the air, uh, he blows smoke out of his nose. Yep, yep. Uh, he blew the smoke out, and right above our head, there was a smoke detector. Uh-huh. And then set off the smoke alarm, and they had to evacuate the entire school. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and they had to wait until... This, the fire department shows up to reset it. They couldn't reset it without the fire department showing back up. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was really embarrassed, and so was Dusty. Uh -huh. And one time, I was doing a show, and Dusty's can, his smoke can, it ran out of ran out of smoke. That's right, yeah. So, he was, oh, oh. <laughs> not like that. It didn't have any smoke in it, so I, I was able to put him away in his case. And when I looked in the case, yeah. I found a full can of smoke in the, in the case. Uh -huh. It had a spray nozzle on top, so I just sprayed it up out of the case into my face. Uh -huh. And the kids lost it. They thought it was the funniest thing ever. So <laughs> I do it like that once in a while, too, now. Okay. <laughs> Here I am in my magic shop. My magic shop is actually located inside my warehouse. I used to have a brick and mortar store over on uh, another place, but I had to close down because of COVID. My rent went up high. I had to move out of there. So it's open by appointment only. It's a wonderful place to be. It's like a real magic shop. And my only goal that I have uh, that I have coming up, which I hope to fulfill by next year, is uh, to work at a fair or a festival and do strolling ventriloquism, walking around all day long, doing my puppets, that kind of thing, to make it more, to make it fun for people, just like a still walker's atmosphere. So that's one of my long-term goals, as soon as this pandemic is over. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another edition of Performer Spot. Come on. Yeah. Richard Is Adler, that cool or what? Mr. A. Mr. A is going I, to eat now. I no, love Richard, that. Richard, stay around, buddy. Stay I love around. that because... You I love that um, this. magic shop, man. That's so cool. Um, oh, my gosh. So cool. Yeah, that's Mr. like. A's magic shop. Yeah, this is an incredible show, Deegan. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Deegan Hudson, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my she gosh. She was a performer spotlight from uh, four weeks ago, five weeks ago. Amazing. Incredible. Um, and we have something cooking with her. And, you know, Gary, who yeah. was helping Darcy, is also working with. Hmm, Steve? Deegan. Nope. Saying uh -uh. a little too much. Yeah. So, and it's all for a very big thing called. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, mm -mm, can't. No, nope, can't, nope. Steve. Okay. Next. Uh, hey, here's a. Before we move on, here's a question from Sandy. Who's a sharer? Which means she is eligible to win. And Adam. Oh, Adam just won a Biden puppet. Oh, just all kidding. Right. Sorry, Adam. Oh, oh, Jennifer Sorry. Jones wants to go. But, hey, this See is ya. a question from Sandy. See ya. Where do you all use your axles oh, the most? No, 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 um, okay. Here we go. Check this out. Mm -hmm. I brought my own buddy uh, Oliver to school, and I, and I sat with this little girl with Down syndrome and sang to her. She never, ever talked, and I was lucky enough that the puppet got her to speak. Best moment ever. Man, I love that. Oh, Sandy, love thank it. you for sharing. Um, we are in the business of making the world a happier place, and we get to do that with amazing entertainers like yourself. And so we're always encouraged when you share yeah. uh, stories like that. Um, but, Steve, yeah. speaking of stories that, oh my gosh, that make people go. happier. Stories um, that make people happy. We had something special happen yeah. in the course, well, last week mm -hmm. here at Axel Expressions, our company, which yeah. has been going on since, like, right when I was born. Um, tell us well, a little bit about... So two years before we started. Yeah. I mean, actually, I've been going since I was 14 years old, which is <clears throat> years ago. Yeah, a century ago. But, Steve, yeah, but the tell us. the business started in 82. What, what anniversary yeah, did yeah, we just. Whoa, whoa. What anniversary just happened? 39. For us? No, for our thing we're going to show. 
for Jose. <laughs> really, really good. So 20 years uh, for our number one production manager, Jose Cruz. This is so incredible. This he just hit 20 years of working here. Through. So 20 in my 20th year, Jose joined me in my 20th year. And then he worked wow. with us. He just hit 20 Until years now. working with us. Yeah, just last week. 20 so years. Cool. Check this out. So we got a little Cruz, my production manager, that's responsible for the look of all mm -hmm. of my puppets. If you are holding one of oh our puppets, my gosh, it has gone cute. through Jose's department. Once I design them in R&D, it goes to him. And he reproduces it immaculately. All right. So we filmed this a little uh, early in the week with Jose. Oh, my gosh. This is so exciting. <laughs> Jose Cruz, my production manager, has been now with Axel Expressions for 20 years. Oh, okay. Can't wow. put it up? No. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing how yeah. much stuff we've done together. Ooh. Man. It's terrible. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's for me, I don't know, Steve, um, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's fast, you know. Mm -hmm. Time because, passes. Yeah, time passes because, you know, I like this company because, you know, it's, I need to do a lot of things, you know. Yeah, a lot of different things. A lot of different things, you know, custom and new projects, something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, you have um, come from a family that does upholstery, and that was your skill before you sewing and upholstery, yes. right? Yes. Your this father? My mom, my mom, my mom, my mom, my mom, when I'm little, I say, hey, just come to, I can teach you, I can you know, oh. use the machine, you know, sometimes you can, uh, I don't have you. Oh, you know, well, you can, she was right. You can <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can find that job, you know. But. So the most amazing story about how Jose and I first hooked up, um, when he, um, I was looking for somebody um, to hire to become uh, our very first production employee to actually take the work from me and do better and um, I went to our neighbor uh, in this uh, industrial park here and asked her if she had any employees if she knew of any and she said no everybody's really busy right now couldn't do it so I came back and I, we were working on the studio and stuff and I, I was really busy thinking about who I was going to ask next to see if who they knew meanwhile jose visits the same person and and talks to her and asks do you have a job for me and she said oh jose i would love to hire you but you're my favorite employee to hire but no i don't have any positions and this is at the same shop that i just asked at and then he says oh, okay i need to find another job so he took off and um, was driving away. All of a sudden, the lady who we both spoke to, Alba, got this incredible insight. And she goes, wait a minute. Gets in her car, drives after Jose, chases him halfway to the ne next town. Yeah. And what did she say to you? Uh, I drive in when I see him, you know, back to the mirror and say, somebody says, somebody's like this. <laughs> <laughs> And he said, oh, it's, uh, it's Alba, you know? Yeah. You know, maybe she has a job for me, you know? Something like that. And he came right. back and he said, oh, no, Jose, you know, my neighbors, you know, Steve, Axel, especially, uh, I think she has something for you. Let's go talk to him. Is that that yeah. he's coming here? And so she brought him over, and I was like, wow, this is so amazing. Uh, and then I, on the side, I said, Alba, is he really good? At, and she goes, he's the best employee I've ever had. <laughs> she goes, I would hire him in a minute if uh, so. I hired him, and we began working um, training for painting, and he already had all the sewing skills we needed, patterns, everything like that. Just an incredible, yeah. incredible, talented production manager. And he does most of the painting. Uh, he, he has trained others to do painting as well, but a lot of the assembly and everything goes through his quality control. So when you see something designed originally by me, it's not finished until it passes through Jose's uh, production department and man it's been incredible looking forward to another 20 years all right 20 or 30 30 oh. <laughs> all right. 30 more baby thank you, thank you. didn't take any thank photos <laughs> love it so good man i did take a photo did it you is. get it all right yeah. so anyways jose cruz the goat jose my man yeah 20 years Dude. love our crew um 
So yeah, hit that like button for Jose, mm -hmm. good friend. Well, Steve, Incredible. we reached yeah. the time. Yeah, we're about to wrap up, but two important things. We're not wrapping up until we've had a giveaway and an auction. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. You're telling me. You're telling me that we have an auction after this? Yep. 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 Oh my gosh. For okay. What? We don't know yet, but here's the giveaway. We're going to give away a toucan. This is a $70 value. All you do is pay shipping wherever you're from. Very cool. All right. All right so let me. This is a giveaway. So we're going to go through the list. Ryan's going to put whoever shared yep. tonight's. I'm able to see every person yeah. that has shared this video so far. All right. We have about 100 people here right now. Okay. And we're going to be sharing And you have it. to be present to so win. So you have one in 96 chance of winning. So here's the deal. If I call your name, no, you need to no. comment. Only the, the ones that shared. Oh, that's true. So if only 50 people shared, you have a one in 50 chance of winning. Even better. Oh, All right. Let me, we have 107 yeah. shares. All right, 107 shares. 107 okay, shares. so not everybody is here because we have, right now, we have 95 people here. So you have a right. chance. Well, some people shared multiple times. Yeah. Like Tony Hintz. Oh. He's He's crushing the sharing. Okay. Which, hey, you can share multiple times. Nice. Yep. That helps. So yeah. let me load all the all the shares. All right. um, I see Summer Jones in there, Alan Barnett, Sandy. Kingdom said. Meredith. Yeah, $80, yep, yep. I'm That's seeing, right. I'm correct. seeing a lot of your names in wow. here. I got to load them all to the beginning nice. of the show. But all here's right. the deal. Here's the deal. Say it, Steve. <laughs> here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, you have to be present to win. President so to win. No. You have to be a president no, you have to, be to, a win. President to win. Yeah. You got to be a president to win. Mm -hmm. um, nope. So if I call your name, yeah. let me know in the comments that you're there. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my <laughs> hey. This is so exciting. All right. Jose and the winner Cruz. is. Jose. Yeah, All right. Who was that guy on the couch with Jose? I don't get it. Let's see here. Some, I'm almost back to the beginning. Brian Peck, yeah. I see you. All right. Jerry Bress, Sandy, Pierre right. LeBlanc. Happy birthday, people right here. Pierre. 101 people. Okay. And you had how many shares? 150. I have 107. 107 shares and 101 people here. Darcy Lynn shared. All right. All she right. might Darcy win Lynn it. Darcy Lynn She might even win. Yep. I'm Mario. disqualified. Ryan, you are disqualified. What? Now, Steve, but you always say. Do as I say, not as I do. Not as I do. What? All right. Mike Guthrie shared. Skippy Specter. Okay, I think I'm to the beginning of the list. All right. Ooh, Aaron Sherman. All right, close your eyes. Hold on, Steve. I got to make sure I have. Start scrolling. I got to make sure I have all of them in this my cache. Brad Ray. Puppet. This one. Chuck Lyons. Eighty dollar value or seventy nine ninety five is. Ken Dumb pointed out. But you're holding that one, which yeah. gives it another five cents of value. Uh, maybe I'll sign it, which might give it another Paul dollar. Burnham shared. <laughs> All right. I think I got... All okay. Right. I got I'm gonna the whole sign list. It. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. All okay. right. Steve? Are you ready? Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Jerry Bress. <laughs> no way. Jerry Bress. Are you here, Jerry? If you are here, say hi. You have to say a comment in... In the comments. Inside of 10 seconds. Yeah. One. All right, Jerry Bress, two, let me know in the comments if you're three, here. I got to go to someone four, else. Oh, no. Six. Seven. Let's oh. see. Nine. We'll nine see. Nine and a half. If not, I got to pick someone else. Ten. And I, and I can't All right. I can't tag All right. him here we because go. it could alert. Nope. It's got to be. This All right. Has here be we go. Let's go. Hold on. Hold on. Give it another a few round, more seconds. Another round. What? Okay, well, another five. One, two, three. Now I do four, see Joe Bilbo and Adam Shields, five, both sharers. Five, All right, back in the here running. Let's see. Okay, I don't Pick see. A new one. Okay, here we go. hold Ready. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Close your eyes and start scrolling. Here we go. Ready? Hold on, Steve. Are you ready? Start scrolling. I'm getting my cash. Close your okay. eyes. Cash. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Carl Sandum. Carl Sandum, are you there? Carl shared 15 Carl. minutes ago. Is Carl here? Let's see. I can't believe anyone would leave knowing that All they right. might win something. Carl win Sandum. Win me. Are you here, Carl? All right, 10. Now there's an 18 nine, second delay, Gina said. So eight. We'll take that into account. Seven. Six. I don't want people to miss just in case. Five. Five. 
four. Because Cherie oh. could win it. Three. Steve, Three. you know it. You know it's Sherry, Two. right? Sherry. You're always like, it's Cherie, and I'm like, no, it's Sherry. One. All right, let's move I on think to the next one. I think we're going back. Oh here my we go, gosh. folks. Oh All right, gosh. 112 going people back. here right now. 112 people right now, and let's see. Good. Out of the 150 that shared, let's see who's still here. <laughs> here we go. Ready? Are you closing your eyes? Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Um, Sandy Netburn. All right, Sandy Netburn, and are I you think, here? I She's actually here think she I just, saw just comment commented comment. that she wanted she just to said, win. Oh, there we go. Oh, Sandy, are is you here? here? You must say hi again. Hi. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So there she is here. Yeah. Congratulations, Sandy. You won. It almost was this Pierre LeBlanc. $80. Tiki, Pierre's here with us tonight? Yep, she was oh. sandwiched in between um, nice. Pierre. All right, Adam Shield says something about a, uh, a, the dam from... Let's see, let me go back to uh, my port, window. Um, uh, Vegas, Las Vegas. There's the dam in Las Vegas. Oh, um, Hoover Dam? Uh, Hoover Dam. Yeah, um, hey, that's... congrats to uh, Sandy. Right. That's awesome. Congratulations, um, Sandy. And all, all joking aside, those... The, the winner picks are completely random. <laughs> they I actually just, are. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Totally. He closes I, his I eyes. I joke about it, but it's completely random. So thank you, everyone, for sharing. And Sandy. Excellent. Sandy, congratulations. So, Sandy, what you're going to want to do is send us an email, uh, steve at axtel.com. Yeah. Let me throw that up for you. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, and friends, we're not done yet. We got an auction coming up. There's an auction. What? Yeah. Oh, Adam Shield said he'll take the Biden then. So, uh, <laughs> um, so let me let me give. There a is an auction coming up, and it's so not real, Biden. Real quick, let me comment Something else. to uh, Joe Bilbo. Thanks for playing, man. Oh man, good job. Um, okay, nice. Sandy, I'm going to comment on your uh, one of your comments. Sandy, an eighty dollar puppet. Um, hold on one sec, everybody. Let me just give her the email address. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. whoa, whoa. Last week I didn't do this correctly. <laughs> My right arm is going over to something. What is going on, Ryan? Whoa. All right. It's the auction shirt. How did I do an auction last week without the shirt on? Oh, my God. I don't know, I don't Steve. Know. And no hat for the auction. This is a retro thing. All right. <laughs> I don't know, for some, re <laughs> some reason, we always mess up nailing it for the retro. All yeah, right. There we go. Well, I didn't know the retro was a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Okay. So, let's see. No. Hair. On point. I mean, hold on. Hair. Mm, there we go. Uh, I usually don't wear the hat for the auction, so that's a thing. Shit. I'll put it on Biden. Okay. Um... Ah. There we go. Oh, All right. oh my gosh. You're so emo. What's well, going well, on? Well, this is, I'm in a Misfits cover band. Stop. This is my Glenn Danzig. Stop. Um, All right, here we go. All right. Folks, we are now auctioning. Yeah. Not this. No, move move that off the table. That's Sandy, Steve. That's Sandy. Hey, this is for what? Sheldon. Okay, do you know what we're auctioning? We no, have a new no dinky one. tonight. What? Yeah, we have a new dinky tonight. It's no, a derivative fine. of the lion. No, there's and no cheetah. such thing as a derivative. Boom. Everything's unique. Look at this, a tiger. Love the dinky toy. The dinky toy. It's a dinky toy guy. Morning, it's a dinky toy guy. This is the dinky tiger. That's what I said. The dinky tiger. Love the dinky one. tiger. Yes. All right, folks. So the big question is, Steve, can people buy this? Uh, yeah, it'll be on the website later tonight. Very shortly, but right now this is... Tonight or tomorrow, whatever you decide, Ryan, since you're the webmaster. Well, Steve, I'm busy with know. my Ryan. hair, obviously. Ryan. Are you going to do it tonight or tomorrow? I'm going to ignore you. Yeah. Nope, I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> this is so cool. I love it. Right. Look at this. So he's got... White whiskers on the sides of his cheeks like a real tiger. Look at this. Black yeah. ears. A little black patch of hair on the top of his head. Black hands, black feet. Orange and black stripes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, Sandy asked if both of us... 
Yeah. Adam, that is a compliment. What? What's nice. that? What's that? What? I what? sound like Steve Irwin. <laughs> Steve Irwin. Sandy asked if both of us can sign the two kit. I lost it. It looks. It looks. Yes, we can. Both Ryan and I. We can would love both to sign, sign the two I lost the. I lost Ryan, the you, your hair reminds me of a Steve Irwin stingray. Hey, man. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, no. That's bad. That's emo. Okay, you can stop that oh, now. Oh, get out of my life, Dad. So, the dinkies are so cool because they have this huge little hand entrance in the it's back of It's huge and head. little, friends. We've figured it out. Look at that. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And what's really cool is because you're, if you're doing live uh, virtual shows. That's true. Look, you can just do this and then put them in front of your face. You don't have to know ventriloquism. That's right. You don't. No ventriloquism needed. Hey. That's right. Paul <laughs> Burnham Absolutely said right. he's a Bengals fan and he'd love to ah, win this. Come on. Bengals. Bengals, Bengals mascot. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. All right. So we're going to start this guy, Ryan. Let's start him at 100. Okay, let's start him at a hundred. What do you want to start at? A thousand? Yeah. yeah, no, hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Do let's it. Go, let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go, All folks. Right. One hundred dollars. Here we go. What's too soon? What's too soon? Did I say something wrong? Steve Irwin jokes. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Steve Irwin's one of my heroes, so no jokes. Oh, I got Zach Went. All right, here we go. Zach, here we go. Real quick. Is it Wentz or oh, Wentz? Mario's at $150. I, Mario's at $150. Right. Don't even finish what you were going to say Oh, about. Aaron Sherman, $120. Yeah. Yeah, $150, Mario. Mario. Oh, but I, but I got a Mario. Mario. Oh, Yoli coming into the game. What? Yoli. Friends, we right. have Yoli. So Mario's at $150. All right, let me get Mario on the screen. I'm too busy you reading the comments. Type very fast. Bro, because the Come bids on, are rolling type, in. Type, type. Mario, $150. Oh Mario. $150. Here we go. Hold on. I don't see anything that oh beats my gosh. that. That's Mario. pretty cool. Yep, yep. Thank you, Meredith. Yep, we see it. We see it. $150 for Mario. $150 from Mario. <laughs> All right. Now we got. Now we had we had Aaron Sherman right behind him, Where's and my we song, had Zach. Ryan? Am I gonna get a song? <laughs> we had Zach in there. Am I gonna get a song? That's the question. Am you will get a song very right. soon. It's, it's gonna go like this. I'm a tiger. I'm a spooky guy. No, that's not good. That's not good. That's a monster song. There no. we go. Come on. Come on, Ken. I'm the king of the jungle. No, I'm that's a, a righteous. Lion song. No, Come listen. On, I'm Come a righteous on, guy. The hair on my head <laughs> is a big surprise. Know, it is priceless, Ooh. Adam Shields. Thank you so much. All right, priceless. let's see what we got. This is the very first tiger. Wentzy. Uh, Zach, second, I knew it. Tiger. We did send one. I yeah, knew we it, We shipped Zach. one out already. This is Steve's tiger. This is mine. This is Steve's personal tiger. And this one was going to be the one that sat on the dinky stands mm -hmm. uh, representing the tigers. But I will sign it. Susie will sign it. This is this is the this is the capital T tiger. I will friends. sign the toucan, and Ryan will sign the toucan as That's well. That's right. All right for for the Steve, winner of the toucan. We got yeah. Yeah. we got one fifty to a Mario. Yep, one fifty going once. Going once. One hundred and fifty dollars going once. What are you pointing at? What are you pointing at? I said it first. <laughs> hey, Dinky Tiger, that's my yeah. line. Oh, sorry. What are you pointing at? I'm not pointing at anything. There you go. One hundred and fifty dollars going to Canada twice. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. One fifty-five. Joey Harris. One hundred and fifty-five. Oh wait, wait, not Joey Harris. Oh. Somebody else has to bid at least one fifty-five. Come we, on. Man. We got a lot Joey, of. Joey, you cannot do that. We got a lot of encouragers Joey, for other people stop. to bid. Joey bid one fifty-five. Come on, Joey. Bid 155. I just want to hit that swoop button. I know. Joey, that's not fair. Come on. All right. Joey Harris said. This is Steve Axtell. No, the he, first he tiger. Actually, he this didn't is, actually say that. He said somebody should bid 155. This is the first tiger ever made. What's fun is when Steve makes the tiger or him and Susie make Joey. these, these are the ones that we look at to say, okay, let's move forward with this product line. <laughs> pretty cool. That's right. It is a product. It is pretty it's cool. It's a prototype. It is the main the main, main the event. It's the main event. All right. Oh, Zach went. All right. Zach. Oh, sorry. Where's my swoop? Oh, there it is. 
Zach at 155. I, Zach, width, my, my dreams it? are fulfilled. It's Winthy. Winthy. Long E. Swoop, there it is. All right. I just wanted to hit that swoop button. Zach, Winth. Winthy. Oh, sorry. Winthy. All right. 155 going once. Let me up that on the screen. What are you pointing at? I'm not pointing at anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let's see here. 155 to Zach Wint going twice. Wintsy, Steve. We just oh, went through me. this. Oh, let me do it again. 155 to Zach Wintsy going twice. Peace, baby. Here's the deal. <laughs> if someone does 160, here's, I will. Here's the deal. I will go in the bathroom and slick my hair back. Whoa, like whoa, a, whoa! Like a greaser from The Outsiders, one of my favorite movies. What? Really? Are you serious? Yeah, but I got to yeah, yeah, I got to yeah. see 160. All right. Oh my gosh. And 160, you need and you need to have some hair. pomade. Five bucks to see that? I'll only do five, that. Only five bucks. <laughs> you can't, Steve. Oh, okay. Okay. 160, and I'll go James Dean. All right. Yeah, Full James Dean. Going way too fast, Steve Axtell. Steve Axtell, way too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Listen to Adam Shields. Uh, all right. Let's see here. All right. 155 going twice. Oh, my gosh. To Zach Winthy. Winthy. Not Wynth. Nope, Wendy. not Wynth. Not Wynth. Tommy Bradshaw, is that a dinky alligator in the background? Uh, no, that we have a dinky not frog. Not yet it isn't. Yeah, yeah. Not yet. Oh, oh, does that mean there's going to be one? I, I don't know, know, Steve. Come on, Joey Harris. Tempting. What do you mean? Kingdom. So Gorilla Glue for Ryan's hair. Gorilla Glue couldn't hold this Dude, back. This is a prototype. Um, going to be signed by Steve and Susie Axtell. Well, what's interesting is on the prototypes, we make it, and then mm -hmm. Steve says, this is great. How do we make it worse for the same amount of money? So this is actually made better than all the other ones. What? Yeah, because we make it, and then you always say, what corners can we cut? Never said that. Can That's we not just... even in my dialogue. No, he always, says, can we, he always says, this looks great. Can we add corners? To not I'm cut. Never cut corners. <laughs> Can we reduce quality? Never. Not from Steve Axton. No. All right. Here we go, folks. All if we right. get 155. If we oh, get 160, whoa, whoa. I will cut What's happening a to hair. my arm? Whoa. What is happening uh, to my whoa. arm? Zach. If anybody wants it for 160, you better act fast. Better act fast. Here we go. Here we go. What is going on? I don't know what's going on. Whoa, sheesh. Sold to Jack Winthy for one. Whoa, 55. this just in. Zach Winthy's brother Jack just jumped in and won it. All Sorry, right. Zach. Jack yeah. won. What are you talking about? You said Jack Winth. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Congratulations, time, man. man. Susie and I will sign this for you. Congrats, man. Oh, um, so cool. And, yeah, Zach's got a cool order heading mm -hmm. his way. Uh, he's doing a lot of stuff. Um, you'll be yeah, seeing a lot Zach coming, is. coming from Zach. Um, we'll add this to your order, to your shipment. Uh, so cool. Congratulations. All right, yeah. so, let's, uh, so, Zach, what you're going to want to do, mm. you know the drill. Yeah. You, you've been a winner before. Uh, shoot us an email. Mm. Where's my – there it is. Uh, shoot us an email here. Axatic at gmail.com. You can email uh, Steve at axtel.com as well since we were just dialoguing. Yeah. You just sent us an email. But um, just email us to confirm that win, and we'll see if we can get this in the shipment that's coming your way, um, unless it already shipped out. We'll have to double check with Teresa. Oh, well, if so, um, this is coming next. Yeah. But we'll. Uh, Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. This is so great. What a fun night. I know. What a fun show, folks, we've had here. Ah, Ryan. Don't mess Do you know with what's happening mic. next week? What is next week? I'm getting a new mic? Next week yeah. is incredible. Okay, tell me why is it incredible? Oh. Why is this not holding? I'll tell you why it's incredible. Stop fishing. I, I've got that tightened. It's totally tightened. This is not okay. There we go. There we go. Fine, That's Steve. what I'm talking about. Steve... 
Struggling with stands. <laughs> struggling with stands. Always struggling. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey, thanks for joining People. us, everybody. Uh, we will be live again. Super fun. Next Great week. show next week. Stands. A lot more you stuff. Now, when I miss it, we've got some amazing stands. people coming in. Next week is Mallory Lewis. What? Sherry Lewis's daughter. Steve Whoa. Yeah. Struggles with stands. I'm telling you. That's Lamb Chop. Awesome. Hello. Charlie Horse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Charlie bit my finger. Another famous Charlie. You're going to see it all. It's going to be great. Hey, we will see you then, friends. Peace. All right, folks. Take care.